This is an exclusive hot Hi, I'm Lindsay from the Columbus Public Library Team Department, and today I'm going to show you how to make upcycled postage stamp picture frames. For this project, you will need wooden craft frames, used postage stamps, Mod Podge or school glue that dries clear, scissors, paint brushes, acrylic paint, a plastic container or bowl, and paper towels. For this project, you're going to need some used postage stamps. A great way to start your collection is to ask your family and friends to uh, save all of their postage stamps they get in the mail. So from holiday cards, birthday cards, even junk mail can have some cool stamps on them sometimes. Some stamps may be easier to remove from their envelope paper than others. Like this one slid off easily after taking it out of the water. But some, even after soaking it for 30, 40 minutes to an hour, still had um, kind of a rough time getting the paper off and that's okay. So what you can do is just get most of it off as you can and you can always cut around the edges if there's some excess around there as well. So not every stamp is going to separate perfectly, but they're all going to be uh, ready to use. If you decide that you don't want to soak the stamps to get the paper off the back, um, you can do it that way, but your frame is going to be a little bit thicker because you're going to have that added layer of paper. Now that our frame and our postage stamps are completely dry, we can use the Mod Podge or the glue to start uh, gluing them onto the frame. Before I start gluing them on, I do like to um, lay some out to kind of get a feel for what it's going to look like. So I like to do more of a collage style, but if you don't have a lot of stamps to use, you could always just add them sporadically on like this without the layering effect. So I'm just going to take some of these stamps and just start playing around with them, seeing how I like how they look when placed in certain areas. Now, one little tip is if you have stamps that have a darker postmark that kind of hides the image, these are great for layering um, underneath the ones that really shine through. Like this one, you can really see the image uh, behind the postmark. Now that I've decided how I want to start my layout of the stamps on the frame, I'm going to start gluing them down. So these middle ones are kind of acting as a slightly lower layer than these two. So I'm just going to move those out of the way and glue those down first since they're going to be overlapped on top of them. So I just take my Mod Podge or your glue and I just paint it directly onto the frame. Now it can be a little bit hard to see it if you painted your frame white like I did, but you'll know that you have a good layer. You don't need too much on there. And then I just place them down. Very easy. But since this is going to overlap a little bit, I want to add a little more on top of that stamp.
keep adding stamps on your frame the same way until you have achieved the look that you want, whether it's a very full collage look or just a few along the edges. Just do that just like this. It's also okay if you overlap a little bit off the edge because we can trim those when we're done. Now that I have completed my frame um, with the design that I want with all the stamps, I'm going to just trim the edges because I do have a few that I let overlap on the edge here. And I just want to trim those off before I do the next step of the final layer of Mod Podge or glue. I'm just gonna find some of those edges and just trim them off. If they're very long, you can always try overlapping them around the edge and gluing them down that way. But I just like to trim mine off because it's quick and easy and I don't have to worry about having enough glue on the sides and to allow it to stay and all that fun stuff. <laughs> Now that we've trimmed the stamps and we have the design that we want, it's time to do the final step, which is going to be doing a full layer of glue or Mod Podge over the entire frame. So you're just gonna take your Mod Podge and you're gonna go over the stamps. And that's why it's important if you use a glue that you make sure that it says on it that it dries clear. Because you don't want to mess up your design here with the glue that you can't really see the stamps through. So this is just gonna help kind of seal the frame since you have all of these little edges of all the stamps. And this will just kind of help it be a little bit more cohesive and smooth it out slightly. As you continue to add your layer of Mod Podge or glue, you do want to make sure you're getting the edges as well. So on the inside edges, on the outside edges, kind of where you've trimmed, just so that it doesn't get caught on anything and kind of tear off the frame. If your frame doesn't have prongs on the back, like this. You can just glue or tape your photo or artwork into the frame on the back here. And since it also doesn't have anything to use your frame if you want to hang it or if you want to um, let it sit up on a shelf, you can always add a loop of ribbon right along here or string or something on the back that way you can hang it on the wall or you could just prop it up on a shelf or on um, a table or wherever you want to set up your frame. This craft is a great way to upcycle something we don't really think about using again, which are postage stamps. We use them once to send our packages and letters, but then we don't necessarily think about um, using them again. So this is a fun way to upcycle them. And then if you wanted to make this a really upcycled project, you could use an old picture frame, maybe from a thrift store or something, and uh, use the this technique with the stamps and upcycle two things in your project. So I hope you've enjoyed learning how to do this. I'm Lindsay from the Columbus Public Library Team Department, and thanks for watching.